Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Fluent English with Podcast. I'm your host, Sophie. And I'm Alan. Today, we're going to talk about something quite different, living in the village. Exactly, Alan. Many people dream of escaping the hustle and bustle of city life and experiencing the peace and quiet of a village. But is village life all sunshine and fresh air? We'll explore the advantages and disadvantages, share some listener experiences, and even learn some new vocabulary along the way. Absolutely. This podcast is a fantastic resource for improving your English listening and speaking skills, especially through conversations. We'll focus on vocabulary and everyday situations, making it perfect for beginners like you. Speaking of vocabulary, today's topic is living in the village. By the end of this episode, you'll learn words like rural, it's is related to the countryside. Farmstead, it's a group of farm buildings. Pasture, it's a land where animals graze. Barn, it's a farm building for animals and hay. Countryside, the rural area outside of towns and cities. And homestead, a small farm or piece of land used for self-sufficiency. To get a well-rounded perspective, we'll be hearing from three special guests throughout the episode. Each guest has a unique experience living in a village, and they'll share their stories with us. And of course, we'll break down any new vocabulary word by word, explaining its meaning, synonyms, and using simple sentences for easy understanding. Exactly. We'll also listen to short conversations that put these words into practice. So get ready to improve your English and learn about life in the village. Let's dive in. Today, we'll meet our first guest, someone who has first-hand experience with village life. Absolutely. Let's give a warm welcome to Emily, who grew up in a small village surrounded by beautiful countryside. Hi, Emily. Thanks for joining us today. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Alan. It's my pleasure to be here. So, Emily, tell us about your village life. What was it like growing up in a rural area? Well, it was definitely different from city life. Our village was small, with maybe 50 houses and a one-room schoolhouse. We lived on a farmstead with a big red barn where we kept our cows and chickens. That sounds idyllic. Can you explain what a farmstead is for our listeners? Sure, Sophie. A farmstead is a group of buildings that make up a working farm. It usually includes the farmhouse, barns, sheds, and other structures used for raising animals and growing crops. Thanks, Alan. Did you spend a lot of time outside in the pasture, Emily? Absolutely. The pasture was a large field behind our house where our cows would graze all day. It was so peaceful to watch them. Pasture refers to an area of land where animals like cows, sheep, or horses can eat grass freely. Interesting. Did you feel isolated living in a small village? Not at all. Everyone knew each other, and there was a strong sense of community. We helped each other out and celebrated holidays together. That sounds like a close-knit community. So, Emily, would you recommend living in a village? It depends on your personality. If you love peace and quiet and enjoy nature, village life can be fantastic. But if you crave excitement and city amenities, it might not be the best fit. Thank you so much for sharing your experience, Emily. We learned a lot about rural life and the unique aspects of living in a farmstead. Absolutely. Up next, we'll hear from another guest with a different perspective on village life. Let's welcome John, who recently moved from a bustling city to a quiet village. Hi, John. Thanks for joining us today. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Alan. Glad to be here. John, you recently made a big change. What motivated you to move from a city to a village? Honestly, the city life became overwhelming. The noise, traffic, and pollution were taking a toll on my health. I yearned for a simpler, more peaceful life. So, how are you finding life in the village? It's definitely an adjustment. The village is quite rural, surrounded by beautiful countryside. There are no big shops or fancy restaurants, but the scenery is breathtaking. Rural means related to the countryside, and countryside refers to the rural area outside of towns and cities. Did you find a homestead or a regular house in the village? 
Luckily, I found a charming little cottage with a small garden. It's not a full-fledged homestead, but I can grow some vegetables and herbs. Homestead refers to a small farm or piece of land used for self-sufficiency. So, John, do you miss the city at all? Sometimes. I miss the convenience of having everything readily available. But on the other hand, the village offers a strong sense of community. My neighbors are friendly and always willing to help. It sounds like you're finding the good things about village life. Would you recommend it to others? For people who value peace, nature, and a close-knit community, village life is fantastic. However, those who crave city excitement and amenities might find it a bit slow-paced. Thank you so much for sharing your story, John. It's interesting to hear how someone adjusts to a more rural environment. Up next, we'll hear from our last guest who has a unique experience living in a village. Let's give a warm welcome to Maria, who runs a small business in her village. Hi, Maria. Thanks for joining us today. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Alan. Happy to be here. Maria, you're quite unique. You live in a village but run a business. Tell us about it. Yes, I run a small bakery from a converted barn on my property. It's not a traditional farmstead, but I do use some fresh ingredients from local farms in my baking. A bakery in a barn sounds charming. Can you explain the difference between a barn and a regular house? Sure, Sophie. A barn is a farm building specifically designed to house animals and store hay, feed, and other farm equipment. It's usually larger and more utilitarian than a house. Thanks, Alan. Maria, how do you find balancing village life with running a business? It can be challenging. The village is quite quiet, especially during weekdays, but the weekends are bustling with tourists who come to enjoy the countryside and visit my bakery. Countryside refers to the rural area outside of towns and cities. So, Maria, do you face any limitations being in a village? There are fewer resources compared to the city. For example, I have to travel further for certain supplies. But the benefits outweigh the drawbacks. The slower pace and friendly community are priceless. It sounds like you've found a way to thrive in the village. Would you recommend it for entrepreneurs? For businesses that rely on foot traffic or a large customer base, a city might be better. However, for online businesses or those catering to specific needs, a village can be a great location with lower overhead costs. Thank you so much for sharing your experience, Maria. It's great to hear about the unique opportunities Village Life offers. We learned a lot about the advantages and challenges of living in a village from all three of our guests. Now, let's test your understanding with some short conversations that use the vocabulary we learned today. Great idea, Alan. Remember, these conversations are simple and use the words we explained earlier. Rural, farmstead, pasture, barn, countryside, and homestead. Here's our first conversation. Hi, John. Where are you moving? I'm moving to a small village in the countryside. I'm tired of the city noise. Wow, that sounds like a big change. Will you live on a farmstead? Not exactly. I found a cute cottage with a small garden. Maybe I can grow some vegetables. This conversation shows how countryside refers to the rural area and farmstead is a group of farm buildings. John won't be living on a full-fledged farm, but he'll have a little space for some gardening. Exactly. Here's our second conversation. Hi, Maria. I love your bakery. It's so unique. Thanks, David. We converted an old barn on our property. A barn? That's interesting. Do you keep any animals there? No animals, just lots of delicious pastries. This conversation highlights the difference between a barn and a house. Barns are for animals and storage, while houses are for living. Great point, Alan. Here's our last conversation. Hi, Lisa. How was your visit to my village? It was amazing, Emily. The fresh air and beautiful pastures were so relaxing. Glad you enjoyed it. Did you see the cows grazing in the pasture behind our house? Yes, they were so peaceful. This conversation shows how pasture refers to an area where animals graze freely. Excellent. 
These conversations showcase the vocabulary we learn today in a practical context. Today, we also learned a lot from our guests, Emily, John, and Maria, who shared their unique experiences living in villages. Exactly. We explored the advantages and disadvantages of village life, from the peace and quiet of the countryside to the limitations of resources compared to the city. And don't forget the new vocabulary we learned. We hope these conversations helped you understand these words in a practical way. Living in a village is a personal choice. If you crave peace, nature, and a close-knit community, village life might be perfect for you. But if you need the excitement and amenities of a city, it might not be the best fit. Absolutely. The important thing is to weigh the pros and cons and choose a place that suits your lifestyle and needs. We hope this episode of Fluent English with Podcast helped you improve your listening and speaking skills, especially through conversations about living in a village. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast for more interesting topics and vocabulary lessons. And if you have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below. We love hearing from our listeners. Thanks for joining us today. Until next time, happy learning.